Who goes there? Foltest. I've come for my children. Geralt, wait here. You might scare them. Ah, thanks be to the gods. My prayers are answered. Go, Boosie. That's not my father. But it is your king, boy. <laughs> Bells, your triumph is complete. The city and fortress taken, sire. Time to thank the Forefather and the Mother Creatrix for this great victory. A moment, blind man. I've not seen my children in six months. The gods can spare another minute. Listen to me. Your mother and I quarreled, but that is over. She was deceived. Evil men turned her against me. These men have been punished, and all will be well from now. No tears, Boosie. One day you'll be king, and kings do not weep. Armed men approach, sire. Children, go to the refectory. My knights will soon be here. You must meet them, for one day you will rule them. Boosie, go wash your face. They must not see that you wept. There's a bucket of water in the next room. Anais, help your brother. Sire, let us pray. They must look like the royal children they are. Hmm. They have your eyes, Sire.
Huh. I suppose that's the extent of what you'll give me. Does this mean I'm free? Foltest, King of Temeria, has been murdered. Unfortunately for you, you're the only suspect. The murderer outsmarted you, so I'm to rot in this dungeon. Oh, no danger of you rotting. You'll hang. Convince them otherwise. I have no influence over the court. Foltest told me a lot about you. If not for him, I'd be a drunk or a vagrant. Foltest did more for me than my father ever did. But then my father did exactly nothing before I never even met him. In any case, I'll not rest until the murderer is punished. Tell me how you serve, Vernon. I carry out orders others are incapable of executing. What's the situation in Temeria? The Council of Regents has convened to restore order. That means three things. Utter chaos will prevail, Visima will run dry of wine and strong drink, and the local whores will make a killing. Is Triss participating in the meetings? Indeed. Only to find out that she's no longer needed. How do you know? It's my business to know. They want to run a kingdom without a sorceress? They already have a kingdom without a king. They'll use every opportunity to get rid of her. Who will rule? The chief contenders are Count Maravel and Baron Kimbold, who already tussle for control of Lavalette Castle. What about Foltest's bastards? The king's blood runs in their veins. So yes, they are entitled to the throne. Not some drooling nobles. What if someone vouched for me? You have a witness. I was thinking of Triss. Were she not your lover, who knows? But it's common knowledge she is. What happened to her? Ah, oh, she's fine. She's been invited to the next meeting of the Council of Regents. For fuck's sake, you command the Blue Stripes. Do something. The real murderer is free, and he's further and further away with every hour you spend prancing around in here. I find the Killer Monk story unconvincing. I don't claim he was a monk. He was wearing a frock, though. He sailed off in a boat with some Scoia'tael. Would you recognize him? No problem. A mountain of meat. Never seen anyone bigger. What would you do if you escaped? I'd go after the Kingslayer. You know where to look for him? Some Scoia'tael helped him escape. That's where I'd start. I expect you might know this particular group of elves. How'd you work that out? They wore blue striped masks. Trophies, I expect. Yorveth's commando. I know where to find them. We've a trail to follow after all. If you want to start over and take it easy this time, get me some food. Now that you mention it. Vess! Bring us food and drink. <laughs> Shame you didn't think of that earlier. It's your own fault, Geralt. Your fate is in your hands. Thank you. Never heard of women serving in the Special Forces. This is one of my best people. How'd she wind up in the Blue Stripes? I pulled her from the paws of the Scoia'tael. Just sixteen when they torched her village and slaughtered everyone. The unit commander took a liking and spared her. One last thing. This file is about one Geralt of Rivia. And Foltest's death? Actually, Geralt's death. The report details events from five years ago.
Rivia. Population 1,234. In that, 253 non-humans. September the 25th, 1268. A riot erupts. A massacre ensues. The streets run with the blood of elves and dwarves. One person finds the courage to face the raging crowd. During the rioting, 76 non-humans perish, including the witcher Geralt of Rivia. Stabbed in the chest with a pitchfork by a man of whom we know only that his name was Rob, and he owed three crowns at the local tavern. Yennefer of Vengerberg dies trying to heal the witcher. The bodies of Geralt and the sorceress are taken away by a mysterious young girl with ashen hair. Their place of internment remains unknown. I remember. Rivia. Yennefer. What just happened? I saw... I saw my own death. And the rest? Have you regained all your memory? That's all. I just remember the end. Vess! Interrogation's done. Restrain the prisoner. I'll take the key. I sail up river at dawn. Guards will collect you in five minutes. Eat. You'll need your strength. Not yesterday. He was a hero, pretty much. Everyone's man. Personally saw him cut down 20 men in the blink of an eye, so it's no surprise. Hmm. See him dashing along those walls. Can't rightly say I ever saw his sword the blade move so fast. I thought that beast would tear him to bits when it came out the clouds. Delayed don't mean denied. Hangman will do that tomorrow. <laughs> What say we, um, teach him a lesson for what he did to Fultest? Guard. Come here, good man. Why are you hollering? Do that again and we'll shut you up. You wouldn't say that if these bars weren't here. Is that so? Let's see. Your guts out. Sneak out in this light. Huh? What was that? Hit the 
mutants! Rage, rage against the dying of the light. A punch you took your bloody spear! You would not dare! I'm just following orders, milady. Who issued them? What's more important is what they require of me. And what's that? One little signature confirming that Voltes did not sire your little bastard. I shall... You'll not leave me here. Will you unbind me?
am at your mercy, Witcher. What now? Cover yourself, my lady. In better times, the king spoke to me of you. You must look me in the eyes when you answer. Did you slay Faltest? No. Hmm. I suppose I must believe you. You should be glad. I'd have to gouge out those devil's eyes otherwise. I am glad, my lady. I like my eyes. Where are my children? Forgive me, but I just escaped my cell, and can't count myself among the well-informed. Then you are at my mercy. I know this dungeon better than anyone. Your chances of escaping are nil without my help. Slim with it. I'll gladly take Slim. In that case, let us go. Along the way, you can tell me how my son, Arian Lavalette, died. They never miss. They're the elite of the Nilfgaardian army. Your Excellency, here to oversee the interrogation? I have come to assist the Baroness Lavalette, former mistress of this castle. But I see she has found her champion already. What do you want, Excellency? To aid you, my lady. Or rather, to present a proposal. The Lavalettes have never made and will never make a pact with Nilfgaard. Pantare, Baroness. There are no constants in this world. It is time to adapt to the new order, particularly now that Arian and the King are no more. You and the royal children require protection. Where are they? In the upper castle. They are safe, unhurt thus far. I can guarantee their further safety and yours, provided you can agree to Imperial protection. Stomach, as it were, Nilf guardians in your presence. Naturally, I expect nothing in return. You contradict yourself, Ambassador. Your ruse is not lost on me. But so be it. Now take me to my children. I hadn't planned on going to the Upper Castle. And rightly so. Many there tremble with anticipation for tomorrow's execution. I must resolve a few administrative matters to deliver the Baroness from this oppression. And I will occupy, for ample time, I think, the guards at the main dungeon gate in the process. My lady, I leave you in the hands of this honorable knight. Witcher, count twenty heartbeats and follow me. Why would you aid a Kingslayer, Excellency? I aid a Witcher who may find the real regicide. I'm a principled man who abhors all acts of violence. In addition to which, the Empire I represent needs a stable north. But we digress. Twenty heartbeats, then follow. My lady, your son Arian gave me no choice. I know. Stubborn to the last as the Lavalettes have always been. I trust he did not suffer. I doubt he even sensed the final blow coming. There's that at least. You have spoken your peace, Witcher. Go! Fuck you up the arse! Motherfucker! I'm gonna fucking kill you, hear me? I'll whip your brick off and beat your head in with it! You, follow me! Yes, sir. Guards! 
The witch has fled his you cell and is raging in the dungeons. Restrain him immediately. Kondo, maybe? One more right. word, soldier, and I shall personally make certain you hang with... You were to sneak out, avoid anything resembling a bloodbath. You left me the key to my manacles, not an invisibility cloak. Triss, is everything all right? Not exactly. I'm no longer the royal advisor. I've lost my post, my home in Vizima. Witcher's mistress, they call me. Kingslayer's whore. People say what they think they have to. I know, but... They'll change their minds as soon as we find the Kingslayer. Roach will see to that. Right, spy? I'm no spy, but you're mostly correct. I ran into a hangman torturing Louisa Lavalette, trying to force her to confess to incestuous relations with her son. Foltest's children were to be Aryans. Sons of bitches. The hangman has hanged his last. But Schillard has the Baroness and her children. An interregnum is chaos by definition. Rats like Baron Kimbolt and Count Maravo rule Temeria now or strive to. But no one save old Natalis can restore true order. Natalis is far away and of low birth. The crown's simply out of his reach. Baron Kimbolt, on the other hand. Politics is secondary right now. Vernon, learn anything new about the Kingslayer? A week ago, I got a message from an informer in Flotsam. He saw Yorveth in the company of a large, bald man, not unlike the one you described. A week ago? Sounds like a cold trail to me. We need to start somewhere. The trading post is a few days upriver, in the forests that lie on the Adernian border. Yorveth's territory. Flotsam it is, then. Triss. Yes? I'm a bit beat up. Will you look at my wounds? Mm-hmm. Let's go below deck. And I need you to tell me about Yennefer in detail. I want to hear it all, even the things you don't want to tell me, even the things that might hurt. Prepare to cast off. Clear the lines and all aboard. Lines clear, Captain. War is a good time to forge friendships, alliances. <laughs> Harry and Lavalette, busy building walls and forging swords, forgot that. When he was gone, those he loved were forced to forge friendships with those he hated. Life can't be easy for anyone who's unlucky enough to be labeled a regicide. That goes triple for someone like Geralt. Could his luck get any worse? I've known the Witcher for a long time, and I'm sure that kings, courts, and politics concern him about as much as last year's snow. But hey, life doesn't always dole out what we expect, right? Sometimes it even forces us to associate with unsavory characters like Vernon Roach. 
No, I'm not making any excuses. And yes, I had my reasons. The Witcher spent most of the way to Flotsam talking to someone. Long into the evening, as water lapped against the boat's side, Triss told him forgotten stories of his unexpected child and his toxic relationship with the sorceress named Yennefer. Stories of a life stolen from him. Am I boring you? Don't set this tale aside. Give me just a few minutes more, for someone special's about to appear in dire straits upon a scaffold.